Hi, I'm Joaquin Machado. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Nostack. I want to tell you about the technology that we developed. We work in nanomagnetics and we developed a technology that it's a material, a nanocomposite material made from different principles in nanomagnetics that behave as a passive filter for electromagnetic radiation. That means for interference from the radio frequency microwave spectrum and also we have a solution for the extreme low frequency fields and dirty power harmonics and transients in the current. Spiro is a unique technology because it's the first non-blocking technology in the market, science-based. What it does is filter the interference in the propagation of radiation. The interference, how we filter, is using a principle that's called polarization. Several studies, scientific and peer-reviewed studies about electrosmog or electromagnetic radiation shows that the problem with the radiation is not the intensity. The problem is the polarization of particles. The polarization of particles are produced because when we are spreading messages, the modulation of waves produce this artificial polarization. The same happened with the current. The alternated current are producing this artificial polarization and it's mixed in a chaos state with high entropy in all environments because are immersed in different types of sources of electromagnetic fields from electronics, from different types of frequencies in telecommunications and a lot of electricity in all the environments. That is the problem with radiation. Spiro is a non-blocking solution because it's producing a stronger field in the nanometric scale. This stronger field has a specific natural polarization that comes from the particles, from the material. It is natural polarization. Allow this radiation behave like natural fields. So when we polarize it again, naturally, what we are doing is taking out the interference problem that goes into the subatomic particles. These particles that are behaving unstable, get polarized because of the field of a spiral. Our technology is capable to handle different types of emission and power densities because in nanomagnetics, when we increase the power of the, the filtering power potency of the field, of the ferromagnetic field, we can handle higher amount of radiation. So a spiral is the only non-blocking solution that can also deal with 5G and 6G emissions. We have solutions for 100 gigahertz because we understand how the problem is made in the fundamental level. The fundamental level, again, it's this spin orbit interaction particles. That's why a spiral means a spin radiation organizer. We are organizing the spin of particles that comes from radiation of electronics or electrical appliances. When we polarize, again, naturally, these particles, you can keep using technologies without fears, without problems, and especially without the oxidative stress response related to this problem. When you have oxidative stress in your body related to, to this environmental toxin called electromagnetic radiation, that translates that in a change in your brain activity and a change in the heart rate variability because your body is in a stress response. So we have studies biological studies and double-blind clinical trials that shows when you apply a spiral to your cell phone, to your Wi-Fi router, your wireless computer, your body gets relief of a stress. The stress response is reduced and over time you have an improvement in the heart rate variability, in the brain activity, and because of that, in the sleep quality. That is the benefits of the spiral. Also, it's important to say the spiral was made to use it in people that has an electrohypersensitive problem. So electrohypersensitivity is a condition that the people react in a way that they feel different types of symptoms and pain, and they can't use technology. But with the spiral, we don't need to block technology to these people. We can just filter, and they can keep using technology. We have more than 1,057 cases successfully control their environments, filter the pollution 
in these electro hypersensitive people are having a normal life and a good quality of sleep. We have a protocol of before and after, and we have different clinical trials, different studies that shows that in an average of 27 days, you will see the difference if you are an electro hypersensitive person. We made this solution also for you. If you are an electro hypersensitive person, you will see that Spyro is a solution that works very well. Also, it's important to add that some other products in the market are focused in block the radiation. When you block, you make a chaos in the environment, in the vicinity of the device. That is not healthy, it's not good in long term. Because if we start to try to block the near field exposure from different devices, if the device is for telecommunications and keeps working, it's going to use more energy. In the end, translate in more radiation in the environment. That's important to understand because we need to work for a, with a realistic solution in long term. A spiro also can be applied for industrial facilities, for governmental facilities, because we can handle higher amount of radiation. Actually, we improve the performance of devices. So we are not trying to fight against technology. We want to make it compatible. We want to coexist with technology. We truly believe it's time to make not greener, technologies. It's time to make human-friendly technologies. That means technologies that are good for our bodies, for our health, and also for our pets and for nature. With the blocking solutions, you have a short-term solution to get relief from different types of symptoms. But the core of the problem is still there because the artificial polarization remains in the environment. And if someone is receiving the hit, if this is something to consider. Of course, you can use materials to block electrical fields, and that's very good. But when we're talking about electrical fields, that is related to electricity. But what we are talking about microwave radiation, we are talking about high-frequency radiation that is in the environment, is in the air, is noise, is interference. With the spiro, we can reduce the noise level. If you are a technical guy, you are an IT, you can see it, studying the OTA, how the, the, the antenna behave, in the radiation propagation pattern around the antenna, because we improve the performance of the devices, improving the quality signal of any electronic device. So it's good for the technology, for the people, and for the environment. It's an approach for long term. And I invite you, come to our website to take a look and try to see this problem from a different approach. Intensity of frequencies are not the real problem of radiation. Actually, we are exposed sometimes to physicians to restore our knees uh, or something in our body using an electrical potency. Sometimes this electrical potency is higher, 10 times higher than the electrical potency of your cell phone. And that helps us to restore our knee. Why? If we are talking that the intensity and the frequency it is bad. That's happened because this is clear electricity, just direct covering, and this is not spreading messages, telecommunications. So the problem comes when you put the message in the waves and change the polarization. Just, just to give you an idea, something to think about it. Think in this and understand that we can solve this problem without fight with technologies. We can keep using technologies. Thank you.